Hi viewers, welcome to RenaiSkill.com. Today we are going to see about how to install ISPO CRM version 5.1.2 on Linux Mint 18.3. ISPO is a free and open source web based customer relationship manager application. It is written in PHP and uses MySQL database. It is responsive, has an easy to use web interface and comes with many languages. It can be used in various industries like retailers, e commerce, banking, and call center, and etc. Okay, now let us see how to install ISPO CRM on Linux Mint 3 Before starting our installation, we have to need LAMP setup that is Apache, MySQL and PHP. Here we have to use PHP version 7.2. Okay, now first of all we have to download the ISPO CRM package using my wget command. The download is going on. The download is complete now. After downloading, we have to extract this download file using the unzip command. After downloading, we have to list out this directory. Now we have to rename the extracted directory. And then we have to move the ISPO CRM directory into the slash var slash www slash HTML directory using my move command. Then go to HTML directory. Then here we have to list out this directory. Now we have to change ownership and permission for the ISPO CRM directory. Then we have to configure the virtual host for ISPO CRM. So go to site available location. Then here we have to create ispo.cano file using my web editor. Now change insert mode. Here we have to create name based virtual host. So add the following lines. Then save and quit the file. Then after configuring we have to enable the ispo.cano file. After enabling, we have to enter to the host file. Change insert mode. Here, give our local IP. Then give our domain name. Then save and quit the file. Then finally we have to restart our Apache server. After restarting our Apache server, we have to open the browser. Here you can give IP address or domain name. Here I am giving my domain name. Then here we can see ISPO CRM installation. First of all we have to select our language. Then we have to click start. Then here we can see license agreement. So we have to click I accept. Then we have to click next. Then here we can see database setting. Here already I have created database and database user. So we have to put the database detail. First of all we have to give database name. Then database username. Then password. Then we have to click test connection now everything is fine now we have to click next then here we can see system requirement everything is fine now we have to click install then here we can see admin user setting 
so we have to fill the admin details username always admin then we have to give password after filling the details we have to click next then here we can see system setting so we have to edit the your system first of all we have to change date format then we have to change time zone then we have to select your default currency then select your time format then finally we have to click next then here we can see SMTP setting first of all we have to give name then address then here we can see eSports CRM is complete now now scroll down then we have to click go to eSports CRM then here we can see login page of eSports CRM so we have to give username and password then we have to click login then finally here we can see admin page of eSports CRM thus we have seen how to install eSports CRM on Linux Mint 18 Band 3 Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Linux Kelp. If you still need more video, visit www.linuxkelp.com for any queries to mail support at linuxkelp.com.